We are here today to mourn the loss of this channel. I am Suki so What is there to say about this channel? Now for a few short words from the thing that killed it. This chapter is called The Connection, which is interesting because I can't seem to bridge the connection of this funeral I got going on over here and the chapter. Feeling emo today, so. Why do I look so pale? What the fuck is happening? I look like a member of KISS. Sienna, can you grab the champagne? Okay, so I don't have champagne, but I do have rosé, so. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay, anyway. Sienna, can you pass the champagne? I looked across the dining room at Aiden, who was bringing a platter of cheese. We were throwing a dinner party, our first dinner party. Ooh, as a couple, not a mated couple, of course, but a couple for the season. I've read this for months now and I really still have no idea what's going on at all. I need more cheese in it. I think you've truly lost control of your life when you're eating cheese and wine by yourself in front of a camera <laughs> with werewolf fan fiction. Ew. Here we go, he called out and then he opened the door. There were hugs and kisses, exclamations and laughter. And by the time the door shut again, there were four more familiar faces in the room. Oh, to walk around in Sienna's mind. What a lucky girl I am. I hugged Josh hello, and then kissed Mia and Harry on their cheeks. Who are these people? Oh yeah, Mia, she's from, she's one of Jocelyn, no, she's one of Sienna's friends. Just then, Erica grabbed my arm, forcing me to swivel, and I saw that she had located the champagne bottle. Us girls. <laughs> One swift moment, she popped it and handed us each a champagne flute and poured a healthy dose of bubbly into the glasses. I hate the word bubbly. I don't know why. The word bubbly just like makes me think of like, oof. Cheers, she said. I was watching Come Down With Me the other day and apparently people in the olden times used to cheers things to like spill a little bit of, e of the drink into each other's drinks in order to prove that none of it was poisoned. So, there you go. That's a fact for free. Don't ever say I don't teach you anything because you learn so much in this channel. I eyed Mia and we shared a look. Ever since Erica had been the only one of us to go without a real catch for the season, she'd be drinking a lot more. Oh God. Hey Aiden, we have our champagne over here. I called out and watched as the little group came to merge with ours. Introductions were made as per my plan. <laughs> You social butterfly, Sienna. Ooh, Michelle is texting her. I'm outside. Question mark, question mark. Come in, silly. Can you come out? Mish, what is going on? Please, Sienna. Just go out and get her. Oh my god, just go out and get her. Michelle, I called out softly, not wanting anyone to get worried. I didn't see or hear anything at first, but then a few seconds later, I saw some movement at the edge of the lawn. Michelle stepped out from the shadow of a tree. Michelle, calm down, girl. Calm down, Jamal. No need to bring out the nines. He, he. Oh my God, did he do? Oh my God, oh my God, did he do something? Oh, it's not, it's gonna be like, they broke up, right? I can't, I actually can't go through the trauma of last week again. Shh, come here, take a deep breath. I said, guiding her to the big rock beside the driveway. That's how you tell it's a fancy house. When there's a big rock outside the driveway. He dumped me. For another girl, he said he's she's hotter and better in bed. Oh my god, you break up with someone and you say that rough one. That was the worst possible thing Michelle could hear. Yes, that's the worst possible thing I think <laughs> anyone could hear. She was used to getting her way, especially with boys. Okay, count down, Sienna. You don't think I can come inside. If you go home, he wins. You need to have a fun night. You deserve that. Oh my god, like... Me in the bathroom of the club, like, hyping up any girl I see. Oh, I really miss that. Of all corona things, I think I miss that most. I'm sorry, we've been... Yeah, me too. I said, grabbing her hand. Can we not fight again? Like, ever? Like, ever? I don't know why Michelle's apologizing. 
That was all Sienna's fault. It was all Sienna, all the time, forever and ever, amen. Sienna said, I'm the main character. Don't come to me with your side character issues. Oh, God. We get Aiden's point of view, cheers. I didn't feel like I'd known Sienna for only a few weeks. It felt like a fucking lifetime because she's a fucking head case. Looking around the dining room, seeing all our friends mingling with each other. It felt normal and nice. I don't care. So I don't care about him. I don't care. Here, man, this Gouda is Gouda. Josh said, slapping my shoulder as he chewed a mouthful of cheese. I can think of no worse imagery than someone making a fucking pun as they whop my shoulder with a mouthful of cheese. Some things never changed. Something changed. No, some things changed, but others, they never would. He was smarter than his frat wolf demeanor led on after all. Is he meant to be a frat wolf? Because in my head, he's just like so in love with Aiden. There's like no other personality that eclipses everything. He's so far up Aiden's ass. I pulled a couple of beers out and brought them to the table. I brought the bottles to our mouths. Part of being a werewolf meant you never needed a bottle opener. Of all things we've read in this, that's the most disturbing. Oh, my teeth hurt. I think you should probably still use a bottle opener. Do they have medicine in this world? Josh had his open in less than a second, but for some reason mine wasn't budging. Is this gonna get turned into a metaphor for rhymes with Merectile misfunction. Come on, bro. What's happening? They waved him off, trying to wiggle the cap, but still nothing. People were starting to notice. Why is this being made a big giant deal? He's gone weak. Josh bellowed from the seat next to me, and now everyone at the table was watching me squirm against the cap. Alpha versus cap? Alpha versus cap? Josh chanted, pounding his hands on the table. Fuck, my God, Josh, fucking chill out, bro. Now I was pissed. Oh my God, why is this being made into a big deal? I am living for this. Oh my God, why am I being given the most detailed description of like how to break your teeth ever? I grabbed the cap between my back molars and ripped it off, spitting it across the table. Josh clapped me on the back. There you go, buddy. Thought you're really losing your power for a second. It was a blessed bottle, I muttered. Yeah, or maybe she's not your mate. Before he could go further, I was at his throat. Bro, what the fuck? I thought this was gonna be the most boring chapter. It's kind of getting loosey goosey juicy. What did you say to me? Backed up, not wanting to cause a scene. Josh leaned in. I'm just saying, if she was your mate, you'd have all the strength you'd ever had. You'd know. Before I could answer, Jenna was walking into the room, her friend in tow. How does this mate thing work? Hmm? Like, actually, can someone please explain to me what's going on? Because this, this does not. I'm very confused. And I realized I hadn't seen her in a while. He didn't even notice that she was fucking gone. Yes. You don't need her, Aiden. I'm with Josh here. Both of you should stay the fuck away from each other. And just like that, Josh had gotten into my head, making me question myself in ways I never had before. It's my narrative a little bit though, doesn't it? How is this not over yet? Michelle's here. <laughs> I said to everyone at the table and all turned to see and something I couldn't quite explain happened. It was like a wave of electricity shot through the people in the room, but it hit only two people. The air became thinner, all noise went mute and Michelle and Josh were connected by some otherworldly current. Their eyes were locked on each other with such a distinct intensity that everyone in the room immediately knew what happened. Oh my god, girl, go you, Michelle. Michelle gets her groove back. Yes, Michelle. Yes, girl. Michelle and Josh, the first time they'd seen each other, had mated. That'd be pretty awkward for Sienna and Aiden. Sienna, girl, if you tried to make this all about your fucking self. I looked around the room, wanting to share my elation, but then my eyes landed on Jocelyn. Oh, fuck, yeah. Oh my god, oh my god, Aiden came here with Jocelyn. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, the tea. Jocelyn just stood up. She took her champagne flute in one hand and lifted it into the air. I can't remember what she said, it's like. A toast to the new two, the two new mates. She said, her voice as elegant as a dove. Michelle and Josh had snapped out of it and Josh ran around the table to bring Michelle a glass of champagne. Josh, you could say sorry to Jocelyn. 
Like, you could say sorry. Fuck me. To Michelle and Josh, Aiden said, and everyone lifted their glasses, echoing him. Poor Jocelyn, though. My God, this is the most awkward thing in the world. They this is a savage society. Like, no one gives a shit in this society about you or anything that you do. I shot another glance at Jocelyn after we'd all sat back down, and I couldn't help but wonder if there was something less elegant beneath the surface. Obviously, her boyfriend just went off with someone else. Would you be super happy about it, Sienna? Because I wouldn't. I'd leave. I don't even think it's like not elegant to not leave. I just would fully be like, bye bitches. Adios. Jocelyn might be a healer. Okay. <laughs> okay, something I didn't know about her. But one thing my mom always told me was that you can't fill someone else's glass if yours is empty. How about you fill up her cup a little bit, Sienna, hmm? Mazel tov. And if Jocelyn's glass was empty, I was wondering when she might notice. I was hoping it would be before it cracked. Sienna, are you a psychologist now too? At least she's showing concern for someone who's not her. Oh my gosh, that is the end of the chapter. What the fuck was that? I mean, I'm happy that we got to spend some time with not Sienna and Aiden. That really made my, my week. I hope it made yours. <laughs> that was a beautiful eulogy. Thank you so much, werewolf fanfiction. Where would this dead channel be without Aiden and Sienna? I ask myself that every day. I need to shake shit up right now. My comment of the week goes to Amelia Gillander. You know you love Suki's videos when you know her ending off by heart. If you've made it to this point in the video, that means that we are acquaintances. You may as well like this video to become friends and you may as well subscribe to become best friends. That was my comment of the week because that was really, really cute. Thanks, Amelia. May this channel rest in peace. And like, please give me ideas for videos that aren't werewolf ones because I can't seem to be able to do any that aren't them anymore. Slauncha! August Gurmayagat!